Assessment is a process of collecting information about individuals or groups for the purpose of making decisions, according to OB and SEP. It's something that plays a huge role into schooling in our day and age. Teachers use assessments to guide their teaching as well as show the state and parents how their students are doing in meeting the appropriate standards for their grade level. Students are assessed every day whether it is informal or informal assessments to guide instruction. For this assignment, I went to observe a second grade classroom during a phonics lesson. That day, the students were learning about collective nouns. A large part of the time that I was there to observe, they were going over a PowerPoint and learning about the content since it was new to them. At the end of the lesson, the students had about 10 minutes to do their assessment. All of the students, except for two of them, had the same assessment. They had to use collective noun phrases and form complete sentences with them and underline the collective noun. The other two students are special education students, and the teacher made a different assessment for them. For example, she used a picture to show one grape, and then she had another picture with a bunch of grapes. The students had a word bank, and they had to select which collective noun went with what noun. They also drew a picture of the collective noun on their worksheet. After I observed the students, I was able to sit down with the teacher and ask her a little bit more about her assessments and how she determines which ones are the best for her students. She told me that she assesses students every day. She sometimes does exit tickets for math, whiteboard as a formative assessment, or a regular fill-in-the-blank test at the end of a unit as a summative assessment. According to Obi and Sop, a formative assessment refers to the ongoing assessment carried out by teachers both formally and informally during a unit of work. She told me that her favorite way to do a formative assessment is by using whiteboards. She will ask the students a question, they write it down on their whiteboard and put it up, and she walks around to check their answers. She told me this is a very quick way to check if the students are understanding the material. And it's fun because they love writing on their whiteboards. I asked her why it was that she provided a different test for those two students. She told me that was her way of differentiating her instruction to meet those students' needs. The basic idea of dif differentiation is that the teacher finds out students' needs and readiness before starting instruction so they can use this information to tailor or differentiate instruction for them, according to OB and SOP. She told me that if she were to give those students the same assessment as the rest of the class, they would have done very poorly since it was a new concept. She says that she is always having to differentiate for those students because she wants them to try hard and show what they can do. After talking with her about how she assesses her students as well as how she differentiates, I was able to see why it is that she does things the way that she does. She told me that she has nine students on an individualized education plan, plan, also known as an IEP, and that she is always having to differentiate her assessment for those students. I do agree with her strategies in assessing all of her learners. I think it's great how she takes the time to differentiate when she knows that certain tasks will be too hard for certain students. If there is one strategy that I wish she could implement more in her classroom, it's having authentic assessments. An authentic assessment is a naturalistic-based assessment, according to OB and SAP. These types of tests allow students to use their creativity in creating something that shows what they learned. A lot of times, teachers don't use this strategy when assessing their students because they feel that they don't have the time for that or because it's easier to just give students a basic multiple choice test instead. I think that for those students that she has which have IEPs, it would really benefit them to be able to show what they know about place value or the pilgrims by making an object and writing a little paper or something like that to explain the reasoning behind that object. I know that for myself, I hate having the same tests over and over and having to write papers all the time, but that's just what we have to do. If teachers could integrate creative thinking into their methods of assessing, I think they would be surprised with the results that they would get. This type of testing really shows that students understand the material. It's not a lot of work to go home and memorize a study guide and just regurgitate that information for test day. I could see that the teacher I observed really knew her students. She took the time for that lesson to create a different assessment for the students that needed that differentiation, and that was great to see. Those students were very excited about it instead of sulking because they didn't understand it. 
Regardless of how we feel about it, assessment is a critical component of the educational process, according to OB and SAP. All that educators have to do is find ways to make the learning and process fun for their students so they don't see, see it as a test, rather a chance to show how well they know the material.